Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Lost my glasses. There I are. Welcome to Morning Hair. It's June 1st, 2017, the 152nd episode of Morning Hair. Remember, we're committed to doing one for every morning of 2017, and we've not missed a day yet. Uh, this is a great day, June 1st, because it was on June 1st, 1967, that these guys released Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, uh, considered by some the greatest rock album of all time. Wasn't, but it was pretty close. Uh, you know, I can remember watching the Beatles when I was like eight, the first time they played on the Ed Sullivan show. And my brother and I had on our cowboy hats around our dad, and my sisters were in front, and they parked themselves in front of the TV at like three o'clock in the afternoon. And whenever dad sent one of us to change the channel to some western he wanted to watch, the girls would start screaming, ah! So we ended up watching the Beatles on Ed Sullivan. And when it was over, all those girls screaming, my brother and I around our dad's back, we exchanged glances and took off our cowboy hats and contemplated this strange new world we found ourselves in. But that was in 1967. So, you know the songs. You know all of them by heart. So uh, let's not talk about that. But don't forget, this is also June, and June is our month of Shakespeare. Yes, and the Shakespeare character we focus in today is the Constable of France from the play Henry V, which is funny because I don't think there ever really was an official title for the Constable of France. They're my glasses. They were in my hand. It's so funny <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but I put these on. Now, let's leave them off. Let's leave them off. Uh, the Constable of France was in Henry V, and it was probably not an official title. something Shakespeare dreamed up for, for dramatic effect. Uh, but I love the Constable of France, particularly the guy who played the Constable in the Kenneth Branagh 1989 version, whose name I can't recall, but I'll look it up. Uh, but uh, he had a great line where they're getting ready to charge down the English, and he says, Mark how our seeds for present service may. I always like that line. Uh, in fact, my fishing buddy Steve and I, we, we would incorporate some of those lines into our fishing expeditions. You know, we sort of change the words a little bit. But this thing, Mark how our reels for present service squeak. And Steve would say, grab them and make incision on their side that their hot grease shall spin in large mouth eyes. And I would say, do we behold yon poor and starved band? And your fair show shall suck away their souls, leaving them with the shadows and husks up. That is not work enough for all hands. Then we grab some, you know, somebody who's just walking along and make him say, Why do you stay so long? My lords of France, young island carrion, desperate to the bones, ill favorably become the warning field. Which was always the hard part because you just can't find somebody just draw off the street off the riverbank, you know, to, to say those lines of Shakespeare. And, and then I would say, uh, They said their prayers and they stay for catch and release. So let the tucket sound. No, I messed that up. A very little, little, let us do when all is done. So let the trumpet sound, the tucket sound, and the note to a cast. For all approach, or so much dare the field. Large mouth will crouch down and bear and yield. Well, in my mind, we did that every time we were fishing, but really, it never really happened. But hey, be the constable of France. I guess I wanted to call this Sergeant Pepper, but no, no, let's do with Shakespeare. This is the constable of France. So when you're the constable of France, go boldly into that battle that you're going to lose anyway. Yeah. Be bold, be bold. Shame, constant shame, nothing but shame. That's the worst that could happen, and most of us live with that kind of shame every day anyway. Hey, that's it for today. Tomorrow's June 2nd, uh, and it's National Donut Day. That's tomorrow, right? So go carb-free today so you can glutton out tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.